What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Trey Coes. As always, my name is Trey Hope, and today I have a new Flutter package. Well, it's not really new. It's kind of been out there for a while, but um, it's new to me, um, but it's called Flutter Slidable. Essentially what that package does is it allows you to have some slidable actions that can be applied to the items um, within like a list tile of your app. So I'm sure you've seen it before. Let's say you have an app with a list of voice memos or, or whatever the items are, and then you slide to the left or right, you'll see that there's options to maybe delete the item or share the item or whatever it may be. So with this package, you can easily integrate that into your apps. So I'll be explaining that in detail uh, and hopefully you walk away with a better understanding of how to use it for your apps. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so as you can see here, we have a simple demo page as always, just an app bar with a center message. And the goal of today is we're going to create a list view of vegetables and we're going to give them some actions using the slidable widget. So first thing we want to do is we want to create that list tile. So we'll need an array of vegetables. So I'll go to the top of my class and specify a string list um, and we'll call it vegetables. And I like to, you know, prefix my variables with the underscore if they're private because I we don't really need this vegetables uh, variable accessed outside of the demo page. So just good practice to keep it private. So I'll give it an empty array. And then this is where we'll pass in some vegetables. We'll say kale, uh, lettuce, uh, mushrooms, carrots. One more vegetable. Let's see what's there trying to blank on vegetables right now onions there we go all right so now we've got our list of vegetables what we then want to do is come down to the body and we want to replace the center widget with a list view builder widget so we'll say list view builder whoops and pass an item builder which will take a context and an index and this is where we will pass in our list tile and the list tile is just going to be uh, text widget with the vegetable that we are currently on in the index All right, and then we need to also pass in the item count. We're just going to be vegetables dot length So if we run that you, We should see our vegetables in the list over here. Perfect real simple So now what we want to do is we want to wrap the list tile widget each individual list tile in a slidable widget This is what's going to give us those uh ability to add left and right actions to our list tile. So if you have a certain extension installed, you can use this little tool here. Uh, I can just click the widget, the list tile widget, and then I have the ability to wrap the widget and I'm going to wrap it with our slidable widget. Uh, I can spell slidable. Perfect. All right, cool. So we got that in there. Now what we want to do is I need to specify a key for the slidable. Um, and since we're only working with one slidable, um, we'll just give it the index. So the index will be the key. Um, actually, I think I need to do it like this. Let me see. Um, actually, it's a value key. So pass in value key and it's going to be the index. All right, and we need to do that because when we're adding some other features later on, we're gonna to need to know the unique um, slidable that we're working with. All right, so now that we have that in there, uh, what we need to do is specify the start action pane, and this is exactly where we're gonna put in the actions that have it from the left, so the start, and then vice versa for the end, which is the right. So pass in an action pane widget, and the action pane widget has children that we need to pass in, and those children are slidable actions. All right, and we'll specify the on press method there, and we'll do this a little bit later. But this is basic setup, um, and then we also need to specify the motion of the action pane. And there's three to four different motions, um, at least that are provided with this package. Um, I think Flutter has more motions that you can use as well but for this we're just going to use uh, the scroll motion scroll motion all right let's clean this up a little bit 
All right, now, don't worry about the error. We need to also add in an icon for the slidable action that we're dealing with. So we'll say icon, and equal icons.delete. So our first action will be to delete the vegetable that we're talking about. So we'll add that. Um, so now if we try it out, we'll see that if we slide from left to right, we have this trash can for the kale option. But it's not really pretty, so what we can do is we'll add a background color uh, of red. That's always a delete color, right? And then there's also a label that we can add, and that's just going to be the text under it, so that'll say delete. So now let's try it out. Let's go to lettuce this time. If we slide to the right, we now have delete, just like that. All right, so then also what we want to do is when we press the delete action, we want to show a message saying, hey, we're going to delete that vegetable that we just selected. So we'll call the scaffold manager, sorry, scaffold messenger dot of context showing snack bar. Then we'll pass in a snack bar and the content is going to be delete the vegetable. Oops delete the vegetable that we are currently at in the index. All right. So if we try this out now, let's hit delete on mushrooms. We get a message that says delete mushrooms. All right. Pretty simple, right? Uh, there's also this thing called dismissible that you can apply to the slideable action as well. So we'll come up to the action pane and Say dismissible and we'll need to pass in a dismissible pane All right um, I believe I call it like that um, let me see actually I need to specify the on dismiss function and we'll just keep this empty for now all right so basically what this does is if I slide all the way to the right it's going to completely get rid of the list tile or dismiss it and you can add more logic here to whatever you want to do but just for this example let's see if we slide all the way to the right kale is gone slide all the way to the right lettuce is gone now keep in mind that they're not actually gone from memory it's just a ui thing so you want to make sure that if you use this dismissible you'll add logic to manually delete the item from memory all right so that's basically how we do the start action pane whoops and as you can see here, I dismissed some widgets and then did a hot reload and got an error. So let's reload this page again. All right. So now what we want to do is add the end action pane. And these are actions that are going to come from the right to the left. So we're just going to copy this slideable action. Actually, this action, this whole action pane. We're going to copy it and put it into end action pane. All right. And we'll just give it a green color. This one will say share. We'll use the share icon and instead we want to say share this vegetable. So now if we come over to our list tile, let's swipe from right to left. Oops, did I save it? Okay, let's try it now. Hmm. Let me try running it again. Oh, that's why it didn't save. Got to make sure you look out for all your errors in Flutter because if there's one comma that's missing and you think you're doing the hot reload, you're actually not because there's still an error there. So now, cool. All right. So now if we come from right to left, we now see the share option. All right. So left to right, we have delete. Right to left, we have share. And you can add as many. Well, let me not say as many, but um, I'm not sure what the limit is. But if we were to add two of these share widgets in here, right, and we made this one blue and we called it share two we would then see two actions right here, all right? So you can kind of specify how you want that to look. If you want to have one on each side, two on one side, two on one side, three, four, whatever it is, this is basically how you use it. So yeah, that's that's essentially how this Flutter slidable package works. Um, I use it whenever I need to add some type of delete or share function to a list of items, um, especially for my critic app. There's features where um, you slide left or right and then you can you know get some extra actions to whatever you want to do with the actual critique you're talking about same thing um, with some other apps but I highly recommend it um, because it gets kind of cluttered if you try to add a bunch of icons and buttons um, next to an item versus kind of hide them and only display them when the user swipes left or right so yeah hopefully this was helpful and 
yeah, be sure to use it. Uh, version 1.2.0. As always, if this video was helpful, please like, comment, subscribe, and be sure to let me know any questions that you may have related to Flutter or anything in mobile development in general. My goal is to make sure that everyone can kind of step into this world of tech a little bit easier and what better way to do that than reaching out to me with any questions you have. So until next time, I'll talk to you later. Have a great day.